What's going on, you nerds? Uh, Number Winter Nights Enhanced Edition is out. It came out yesterday. And uh, I did notice there's a lot more people playing. Um, so we talked a little bit about the uh, basics of it. Uh, this video is going to be a lot shorter because I'm going to be just talking about the uh, DM client. Uh, DM client is... Uh... Alright, so I got to give a little backstory before I talk about this. But Dungeons & Dragons was pen and paper originally. And so you couldn't really play it by yourself. You needed at least two people. You needed a player and a, a DM or a GM. A, dun a dungeon master or a game master. And the game master or dungeon master is basically the god of the universe. Like, they, they have control over everything. They basically tell you what what you should be doing, what, what this, that. They, they basically give you all the information that you need. They play god, basically. And you can't really play this game without someone to do that, you know? You know, with digital games, they everything's programmed, it's pretty easy, but to play pen and paper, you can't just play pen and paper by yourself, because that's kind of weird. So the DM client is basically that ability to do whatever you want. You're, you're basically playing God in the server that you've created, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the DM client, because I think it's a pretty cool... Uh, uh, it's a pretty cool uh, little feature that they have. I don't think they have it a lot in any Dungeons and Dragons game. I think any like digital Dungeons and Dragons game. I only know Neverwinter and maybe a uh, um, Divinity Original Sin 2. They might have it. I don't. Know, I'm not even sure if that's like D and D necessarily, but very, very D and D qualities that that game has. So. Um, Oh, the only way to log into DM client, I couldn't really find it on the Beamdog, um, Beamdog launcher. Uh, I'd have to go to uh, the uh, Steam. If you go to your Steam games library and then press play on, on Neverwinter Nights, it'll give you like a pop-up that says if you just want to play, if you want to use the DM client or the uh, um, game editor or whatever, I think to make module your own modules, your own maps. Uh, I think that third option is what that's for. So I chose I chose uh, the DM client. Um, you would have to make a DM character, which literally is just like so simple, because um, they don't really do anything. They're just uh, they're just avatars for this purpose. So um, this is how the DM uh, client looks. If you've played the single player, this is very very similar to to what it actually is playing a character, um, except you have these stuff up here, which is basically everything that you need. So, we got the chooser, creator, show triggers, appear and pause. Up here you can appear and disappear so uh, people can see you, the other players can see you. If you click disappear then you would be invisible to all the characters. Um, so, you know, if you, you want to surprise your friends a little bit, you know, like appear and reappear out of nowhere, uh, you can pause and unpause. You have that power to do so. You can change the difficulty sliders if you want. Um, but these two are really the uh, the main things of this DM client. Uh, you got your hotbar here. You can toggle on vulnerability. So, you know, NPCs that maybe can't die, you can, you know, force them to be able to die. You can force kill people. You can automatically heal people. Um, you can take control of it. So you can go on NPCs and, you know, make them walk around. But, you know, that might trigger some, some stuff. So uh, I don't really need to do that. You can go to start. You can like teleport to, to people. If you get glow to, then he'll go straight to a character. Um, uh, that's a little bit about that. But uh, this is the main thing: the chooser and the creator. We'll go chooser real quick. Um, chooser is just basically all the maps that are currently available to you right now. So since we're in chapter one of the of the uh, campaign, these are all the maps basically. Uh, in this particular chapter, um, chapter two would have its own. Chapter three would have would have its own. The expansions would have its own. So you can't teleport to a different uh, module. It's just uh, within this particular module. So within this chapter, so you know you got the beggar's nest. You got different houses. If you click on the plus sign, then um, it'll create or not create, but you know it'll it'll uh, open up some new options. Um, for the creatures, encounters. Encounters are basically like with these triggers. So if you trigger a step, if you click show triggers, these will basically, uh, well, when a character walks over it, 
then uh, a particular script would happen. So these just show you where these triggers are. You can get rid of that. Not necessary right now. Um, there's you know different waypoints and triggers for this beggar's nest house, uh, the shining serpent. So if you wanted to, I could literally just click on you know the shining serpent in, go to, and then he will automatically just teleport to that location. So if there are characters, you know, if you're uh, if you create a server and you know you got your friends playing or other people playing and you're the DM, you can literally teleport to areas of of different people. All all the players I think would show up on this on this side as if they were in your party and you know you could teleport to them you, if you want to kill them you can kill them if you can heal them you can heal them uh, but the main purpose of a DM or a GM is not really to it, they're, they're really just there to like move the story along they're not really there to cause so much havoc you could if you wanted to but the main purpose of a game master in an actual pen and paper Dungeons and Dragons was to just make the adventure as smooth as possible without any uh, hiccups here and there or you know any uh, loose information everything should flow naturally as if it was an actual story so it's sort of same thing for this um, that's mainly the purpose of it but you know a lot of people just create like you know uh, create creatures let's uh, you know we'll have them fight monster or something like that if you gave them a a weak zombie you know a lot of people would just kind of create zombies and then just create like havoc all over the place this guy might start attacking him yep so then you can just you know spawn literally zombies everywhere and then it just becomes like this zombie uh zombie map or something you know you can have so much power over it but generally a game master a dungeon master is just to make a story flow as smooth as possible so but you can do what you want to do really if you know if you want to travel to the house or the layer of the devour you can go here one easy click um it's not really too much here you can uh, see the triggers here well there isn't really any triggers um on for dms they can pretty much see everything so all the traps um, they can automatically unlock stuff, lock stuff if they want to. Dungeon Master Force Lock. Uh, you know, automatically disable traps. Pretty much all the power to do anything. Um, it's very easy to understand. Um, there's really not much to it. I just wanted to show you guys some of this stuff. Because probably people who've never played this game before might not even know what this is. Uh, so if you you know if you're planning to host a friend's party or something like that you want to be a dungeon master you can kind of create this new story for them by adding you know extra things here and there and you know making them teleport to certain areas that they wouldn't normally be and then create a new little encounter for them you know little uh, story little episodes for them um, so that's the chooser that's, that's pretty simple it's literally just showing all the different locations in this particular module and then you can automatically teleport to whichever one that you want um, you, can, you know you can see traps you can see the uh, triggers um, so if you go to the creator creator is just as simple you got the creatures items um, encounter triggers and traps and uh, placeable objects creatures is just literally just this list of all the creatures that are available there's custom and standard usually everything that you want is on standard um, there might be some extra stuff on custom um, but generally you know you can pretty much find most of the uh, stuff in the standard there's different elementals so you can spawn you know water elemental then you got an invisible stalker um, you know air elemental look at this and if you wanted to you can take them over uh, which is take control I can take full control so now I'm this guy actually let me be this guy this guy looks crazy I could be this guy, you know, just walk around, and then you can pretend to talk like this guy, like and just walk around. Um, this is probably good for if you want to do any uh, machine mating, you know, creating like little uh, little stories from this. You can take control and you know make them act like they're talking or something like that. Um, it's really you have complete control out of like mostly everything. Um, pretty simple choosing different um, they're you know they're all categorized 
you got constructs, you got dragons, elementals, giants. Um, you know, within gi the giant category, you got subcategories, trolls and ogres. Um, you can put some humans down. You guys might fight. The Avengers, Celestial Avengers, Half Celestial Avengers, Hound Archons. No, no one's gonna fight. What if I force you to f punch someone else? Punch this girl. Oh, there we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, now it's kicking off. Okay, there. <laughs> oh, this is a this is mayhem. Oh my goodness. Oh, jeez. Killer. All right, that, there, there you go. That's now it's kicking off. All right, so so you can do that. A bit of a battle there. Um, so you know you can do stuff like that. You can make like big, you know, big fights if you wanted to, like huge zombies or you know, uh, uh, you know what else there is? Huge dragons. You can have dragons here. You know, adult green dragons, brass dragons. I like how they come down. Um, but those are basically it. It's it's pretty easy. You know, everything is just categorized, and you go into subcategories and NPCs. Uh, you got the items here too. You got different types of armor. You got clothing, heavy helmets. You know, um, if you want to give a player a helmet, you can literally just like put them in their inventory. If you just click on it, then you just click on the person, then you should have it in his inventory. Um, there's the helmet. Uh, or you could just put it on the ground if you wanted to. Uh, they got literally everything. Got light armor, all the different types, medium. Uh, there's plot items too for, uh, like you know, for certain quests. These ones are for I think all of them are for uh, for your companions, for the most part. Um, got some miscellaneous. What's this miscellaneous stuff? Different kits. Uh, I think these are traps. That's pretty much it. In different encounters too. Let's see. Uh, um, so encounters are basically just like a a, a group of a certain uh, certain type that when a, a player gets close to it, then it'll trigger that um, encounter, and then it'll spawn whatever whatever it is that that it is. So you know, if you trigger a a deer group, you trigger it here, and if someone walks by, let's see if it's see if this will work. If someone walks by around the area then it should trigger the uh, the deer that appears but um, I don't know if it's gonna work with these guys. Uh, nothing happens. Alright maybe, maybe it doesn't work on NPCs. Um, you got some triggers and traps. Just saw the different traps here. You can create a trap, place it down. Um, that's pretty much it. So a lot of, a lot of uh, control over this. You know, so if, if you have a lot of players in your server, you can literally just create a whole bunch of guys and just have this big fight if you wanted to. Or if you're, you know, you can make a module that's more uh, role-playing oriented and then maybe occasionally put one or two of these guys out here to su surprise some of your players, you know. Um, complete control over this. Um, it's really easy to use too, literally, like, it's just these two. And, you know, you can add some, like, scripting things with the encounters and stuff. Um, but that's it. I mean, really, really simple. You could probably just easy pick up and play. You could probably learn how to do this in less than a day for sure. Um, everything is just categorized so nicely. Um, so there you guys have it. Pretty easy. S so much control over it. Um, it'll be a blast with people. It, it, you know, if you if you're hosting a server, th this it's a lot of fun to just. You know, just place a bunch of random stuff down on people as they're fighting and, you know, just create this havoc and mayhem. Um, so to end this off, I'm literally just going to see if I can make a this big fight. Guards, guards. There's some guards. Oh, defenders. Yeah, defenders are one. I think they're the ones you want if you want to create this, a big fight. So let's put some guards down. What's Vengal? You know what Vengal means. But that sounds cool. Let's put those guys down. Eravien? Who is that? I don't know, but he's gonna be... He's, he's going to the party. There's Walters over there. Alright, get some elves. This is gonna be like a Lord of the Rings fight. 
where all the uh, all the races come together because just there's orcs just overwhelming everyone. So they all decided to band together to fight as one. And then Gandalf comes in a horse, Gandalf the White. Okay, I think uh, let's put some dwarves in here. All right, here we go. Let's see if they fight. We're gonna end on a good note, guys. We are ending on a good note. Forgotten door. For Frodo. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Here we go. What happened to all the orcs? All, all the orcs died already. What happened? I think there's just too many. I put too many guards out. Oh, here we go, here we go. Alright, alright. They're dying way too fast. Hold on a sec. Let's get this orc chieftain in here. We'll put three orc chieftains. Add some shamans. Goodness gracious. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's kicking off. Oh, yeah. What a way to end it. What a way to end it. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, yeah, fights everywhere. Oh, man, let's take a look at all this. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Everyone's dying. This guy's not even doing anything. Orcs have taken over. Oh, my God. We can't hold them. Some people aren't even fighting. What are you guys doing? Look at this guy. Look at this dude. I gotta make this dude fight. Hey, man, fight this dude. Fight this orc shaman. There we go. I think the orcs won. No. Oh no, they survived. Wow. And no, no one's fighting again. Look, look at this. Look at Harbin. Harbin's got like a. Oh, he's got a bandana on his head. All right, that. There you go. They live to survive another day. No, nope, there's still three shamans left. No one's. No one's attacking. No one's doing anything. Uh oh, orcs are making a comeback. Don't call it the comeback. Oh wow, they took over. They took over Neverwinter. Oh my goodness. Not on my watch, dog. Oh, 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 there you go. Okay, that's how you end it. That's the DM client. Thank you all for watching, you friggin' nerds.